What's up, y'all? Sparta here. So, <clears throat> for my last video of today, which is Easter Sunday, I do want to talk about um something that I feel. Let me war yeah warm that up a little bit, but <clears throat> no pun intended because I'm talking about heat and the S21 Ultra here. So. If you if you've been paying attention to the recent crop of you know Snapdragon chips, that's the eight eighty eight in particular, you will know that their the chip tends to run quite warm, especially compared to last year's eight sixty five. Now, what I feel needs to be said about this is um, what Samsung did in particular with the S twenty one. And I even think the S20, Jesus Christ, sorry. Give me a second. Now, to get back to it, sorry, my girlfriend sent me a bunch of pictures of some car that we're looking at, but, um, what to keep in mind here is, it's not going to get like, say, Snapdragon 810 levels of hot by just doing basic stuff. <laughs> um, I think those days are pretty much past us. It Obviously, if you're in a warmer climate or if it's warmer in your area, like yesterday, for example, it was pretty warm outside. This phone did get warm, but it wasn't to the point. It wasn't like... It wasn't any warmer than what any other phone would get. So I really had no issue with it in particular. It also depends on how thick your case is and all that stuff. So <sighs> that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, what you do on your phone definitely does matter. The What I do on my S21 Ultra, I game, obviously. I use the cameras, obviously, things like that. And I use them heavy. I play games pretty heavily. Um, for whatever reason, Marvel Contest of Champions decided to want to go back to playing at just 630 frames per second. So I no longer really play it on here. I got to go back to my G8 for that. But nonetheless, I tend to play games on my S21 Ultra here a little bit more than other phones. I tend to emulate on my V60 more. <laughs> And stuff like that. Just now, and this is kind of what prompted me to make this video. I was playing a game called a uh, Super Clone. It's a kind of a you know shoot 'em up type of game, and I think I was playing for at least twenty minutes, and the phone got weirdly warm, like <laughs> pretty damn hot, and the screen was like super it was hot like it was it was very weird feeling to go from not having that sort of issue at all now to be fair the this these past few hours i have been recording 4k video down rendering it to 1080p videos and then uploading them right so it makes sense that it was warm in that case but when i play that same game i'm a my V60, I don't really have any sort of those issues. Now, I don't really notice the phone throttling at all. Um, so I think unlike the S21, the base S21, where you can tell that the phone is throttling, I don't really see that with this phone. I don't feel like it's slowing down just so it could stay cooler. I think it's just, it's just letting the chip run a little bit more hot just so that you can get the maximum power and letting the phone get a little bit warmer just so you can do that. Now, the other problems that I feel is that Samsung, especially within the past couple of years, have been very weird with how they want to try to do cooling. Certain phones have certain kinds of cooling. Certain phones don't. They're very vague as to which phones have what in certain markets. One phone may have one kind, one version of their cooling system. In another market, that same phone will have 
a different kind of cooling system. So it, it's very weird how they decided that they want to manage their phones now in terms of cutting costs while also giving you, I guess, a powerful phone that you spent for thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars on. So I'd advise you, I, I want to ask, I guess I just want to put this out there to any S21 Ultra owners in particular. Um, have you been having any sort of heating? Like, it's not terrible, right? It's not like, like I said, it's not Snapdragon 810 OnePlus, uh, OnePlus, HTC One M9, LG G Flex 2 kind of heating. It's... It, it it's noticeably more warm than last than last year's phones. Like for example, the um S twenty FE had some heating issues as well where initially where it came out and the phone was just like you do nothing on it and the phone randomly just got warm. <laughs> After like an update or two that stopped, but this is kind of what I feel is happening here. Again if Samsung is just deciding to just let the Ultra be their maximum their maximum performance phone and they're just letting the phone get warmer in certain instances just so you get the maximum performance, fine, whatever. But I'd advise you to download some sort of like um temperature monitoring. Oh God, I keep getting hiccups. I don't know why. Temperature monitor monitor monitoring app on your phone. I tend to use powerful monitor. Um, I'll show you what it looks like here. Um, it's right. The app icon is right here. And this is just how I have it customized. Let me lower the, uh, let me, let me lower these. And obviously right now it's not going to be like terrible, but it's just, it, I'm doing nothing on the phone, so it makes sense, but it just tells you your CPU, and then obviously it tells you your memory and your battery temp as well. This is the app I used on the Note 10 and able to figure out how, what temperature the battery was at, and it made me figure out that it's what I needed to know about that phone in terms of, a. God, that is so bright for no reason. Uh, let me lower that. There we go. That's better. Um, yeah, that's all I really want to put out, though. Um, NES 21 Ultra owners, let me know if you're having any sort of heating problems on your phone, what exactly you do on your phone, things like that. This is Sparta. Thank guys for watching. Thanks for support. Have a wonderful Easter Sunday. Uh, or whatever time of day it is in your area. Like the video if you like it, dislike it, dislike it, show people are interested in this sort of content, and uh, have a good one.